All right. Sometimes the most obvious is the least obvious. This is the remains of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. And I get very interested in these things. And I read lots of articles. I fly all the time. So what do they do on those airplanes? I'd buy like four newspapers, take them on the plane, watch all the TV stuff, read stuff on the internet. I wanted to find out why the Fukushima nuclear power plant blew up. Three or four nuclear reactors, breach of containment? You're talking totally bad here. And when I found out, I almost couldn't believe it. It was something so obvious to the visual thinker like me, I couldn't believe it. I can't design a nuclear reactor, but maybe I better do their safety systems. It's not a very good idea when you live next to the sea. You've got a 30-foot seawall, but up on the hill, there's a granite plaque that was put there 100 years ago that's higher up than the seawall, and it says, don't forget. The water comes up this high. And then you take your emergency generators, very important emergency generators, that run the emergency cooling pump that prevent the reactors from burning down, and you put them in a basement, and you don't think watertight doors are necessary. Well, the generators all flooded. And any farmer can tell you, diesels, even when they're the size of semi-trucks, they don't work underwater. They drowned their emergency pumps and their emergency generators. That's a mistake I would never make. Because if I had visited that plant, I would have walked around here and I would have looked at the seawall and I would have gone, oh, if the water comes over the seawall, all they got here is a little building with louvers, you know, to ventilate the generator. I can see the louvers busting out. And they painted everything baby blue, so they'd be baby blue louvers. I'm seeing them smashing out and the water coming in and the generators are now underwater. And if I was some Japanese engineer, I'd go, oh, I'm in a lot of trouble now. I don't know what Japanese swear words are, but they'd be saying them because they're now in so much trouble, it's not funny. Nope, you mathematicians and computer guys design the reactor. But being a visual thinker, I can think of all the different ways to break this thing. I can visualize all the ways that it could go wrong. What could I do to prevent a problem? You see, the thing is, this is not a nuclear reactor problem. This was a lack of visual thinking problem. That's what it was. This is why we need to have the mathematicians and the computer scientists working together with people like me which are the industrial designers. The industrial designers are the visual thinking people, the mathematicians are the math, math kind of people, and we need to work together on projects to prevent these kinds of problems.